After 80 days in hospital, Chung Chun Shong is finally home. I was definitely homesick after such a long time. I don't know what to say. I feel both sad and happy thinking of all this. It's so good that he got his life back. I really couldn't believe he is in such good spirits now. He might look fine now, but back in March, his life was hanging by a thread. Chong was diagnosed with COVID-19, one week after the Wuhan lockdown was imposed. He was coughing and running a high fever. That was also when patients began to overwhelm the city's medical system, and getting him into a hospital was a tough task. But he was finally admitted to a newly opened hospital, and immediately sent to intensive care. He got the novel coronavirus pneumonia and had a respiratory failure. In our ICU, we put him on the ventilator. His oxygen saturation was still not good. We were under great pressure, since he wasn't quite old. Chung's symptoms continued to get worse, however, and he was finding it harder and harder to breathe. Doctors decided to use the EMCO treatment on him and do everything they could to stop the virus destroying his lungs and other organs. When he fought for his life, his wife and daughter were also diagnosed with the disease. Both were admitted to temporary hospitals. His son was put under quarantine. But hope was never lost. I had been dreaming about my father. I hoped to tell my mother that no matter what happened, me and my younger brother will always be there. After 10 days of intensive care, he finally started to come round. Taking the ECMO off and you'll get well. Take a look. See, you're back to life. You made it. What happened over the past few weeks, Chung says, will never be forgotten. On the day of my surgery, I hadn't closed my eyes for 24 hours. I was afraid that if my eyes were closed, they would never open again. I was thinking about my family, my son and my daughter. I always wanted to open my eyes and I didn't want to die. To make the recovery process easier, doctors would sometimes surprise Chung with special treats. He remained quite weak after the ordeal, but he did everything the doctors told him to make a full recovery. And that recovery finally came last week, enabling him to go home to his family after being separated for nearly three months. Chung said he appreciated everything the medical staff had done for him and he was looking forward to getting his life back. Rory Cohn, CGTN.